Welcome back guys to another quick video and today we're going to take a look at top 100 richest Bitcoin addresses and you can find all of this information on bitinfocharts.com For you to be able to be in top 100 Bitcoin addresses you need to have amount of exactly 10,000 Bitcoins and the richest Bitcoin address currently has 177,000 Bitcoins and that Bitcoin address is from Bitfinex from the exchange and this is the cold wallet that they use to store safely all of their Bitcoins so those 177,000 Bitcoins is distributed among all of the other users that they currently have and most of those Bitcoin addresses with more than like 50,000 Bitcoins are from the other exchanges like Coinbase, Bittrex, Binance or like Bitfinex the interesting thing you can find here is this first out and last out. First out means when this address was first used to transfer funds from that address somewhere else and the last out tells us when it was the last time that they transferred funds from that address. And for example if like you can see right here that last out was in 2015 that means that this address is no longer active and maybe somebody lost the password from that address and it currently has 69,000 bitcoins and they haven't been moved for 3 years. And some of those addresses like this one wasn't moved from 2010 and that address has exactly 31,000 bitcoins. And in this little chart right here, if you for example have between 1 and 10 bitcoins in your wallet, you can see that you are top 2.35% of people with the most bitcoins. And for you to be able to be in 0.01% of the bitcoin holders, you need to have between 1000 and 10,000 bitcoins. And only two addresses have between 100,000 and 1 million bitcoins and those are the exchange wallets. And a lot of the people have between 0.01 and 0.1 bitcoins and they might think that they have just a little bit of bitcoins and they don't really care about them, but you are still top 27% of the bitcoin holders. And the thing that worries me the most about this chart is if you take a look at this whole part that I highlighted, you can see that 3% of the people own 96% of the total bitcoins and about 1% of the people own 90% of the bitcoin. So when people say that bitcoin is decentralized, that mining is decentralized, well it kinda is but it is still the same as with fiat currency where 1% of the richest people still own 90% of the total fiat money just the same as the 1% of the bitcoin holders hold 90% of the coins now it would be interesting to see how many of those addresses are actually from the exchanges and I believe that it is about the top 1 million bitcoins are distributed among the other people from the exchanges but this is still only 8% of the total current circulating supply and that would mean that the people that are not the top 1% maybe own about 15 to 20% of the total bitcoins and the other 1% still own a huge huge part. But the top 1% could still own the biggest chunks in those exchange wallets and we still get the exact same problem where 1% owns 90%. So hopefully in the future it will be distributed more fairly among other users and you don't have to worry if you own like 0.01 bitcoins because you still have more than 50% of the other people have. So thank you guys for watching, let me know what you wanna see in another video and see you soon, bye.